Okay, so we wasted a little bit of time on our uh, setup there, so we're going to try and get through this, uh, not quick, but expeditiously. For the arrival, we're going to select our arrival runway. Just to make it easy, I'm going to select 9 left today into uh, Chicago, the ILS, and uh, I'm just going to take it uh, off of Gibbons. Go arrival, insert, and then check your points. Now you can see it put the whole route back in there. It'll do that to you. So let's take it right from Gibbons after Maddie. Clean all that up. And now we can see our dashed line is what the route's going to do. Um, and I tell you what, Gibbons is kind of far out there, so I'm just going to go to John. And now we've got John at 9,000 feet. And the aircraft is just not slowing down, so let's uh, try not to violate any rules here on our YouTube video. Level it off a 10 real quick. And put it back into a nice shallow descent. Okay, so we've got our points here. Maddie, John, all the way down to the runway. Uh, nine right. We don't have to tune anything because it's an auto-tune, as we can see from our progress page with the little A, um, which is great. Uh, we'll have to, um, to manually tune it. Now, we can if we want to, uh, but I'll show you why we don't do that later. Um, now, we're coming out of 10,000 feet. We're going to turn those lights back on. And um, turn the nose light off until we're cleared for the approach, just as a little reminder for me. Level it off at 9. Now, it's not going to like this turn at all up here. This turn is uh, an acute angle. Airplanes in general, uh, they don't like acute angles at all. Uh, so let's drop it down to about 7,000 feet, get below that point, and we'll intercept uh, up here at Vander. Uh, right here we can see a 7,000. I'll tell you what, let's even go lower. Now let's go to 6. Now, what we can do with the aircraft, and what I like to do, is draw a line off of a fix, and this will give you a great intercept. So we'll take Ilium, go up top, activate it, and then in the intercept course, we're going to put our final approach course, 093. What that's going to do for us, draw a straight line, activate it, and uh, it didn't like it since we had already passed. Whoops. I didn't like what we were doing because we had already passed, uh, or I thought we already passed it, so it took it up to Trixie. So we can do that just one more time. Activate 093. And I didn't like that either. So we'll get that a little bit closer into uh, to the runway. And sometimes in the sim it doesn't really like to handle that. It does a phenomenal job in the role of the aircraft, but um, sometimes the sim you know, is a sim. Um, okay, so moving on, we go to our perf selection, to our landing data. We've got our arrival runway in there. We're going to select our speeds. VRF today, 137. 142 for V approach. VAC, V approach climb, 156. I'm going to leave our VFS alone. We're not going to touch that. And then uh, let's run auto brakes medium. It's a shorter, short ish runway. I think it's about 8,000 feet, so it's not that short, but it's uh, short enough. And um, we'll uh, keep the descent coming down on in here into uh, Chicago. Now, because we're going to Trixie, that's 5,000. We'll select 5 in here, and I'm just going to help it out with a little bit of speed brake. You can see down here in our ICAS uh, full page. So as far as we're concerned here, the FMS is uh, just doing fine. I'm going to try and... Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Yeah, it keeps uh, it keeps sequencing since we've uh, gone past the airport and we're coming back around. So let's just try one more time to get this to work out one and two. There's a line. Uh, there we go. So now it didn't sequence. So now you can see what I'm talking about. We've got a nice straight line. It recycles our vertical track so we can see when we're going to line up here with the, the Doogie intersection. So I'm relatively confident here. Around this point on the flight, you're going to want to cycle manual speeds. The aircraft, uh, in the real aircraft, is going to start to reduce the internal environment. Any guy that's flown a, a jet into a major airport in the world will tell you if you slow yourself down into Chicago, it's not going to be fun. They're going to get pretty upset with you pretty quick. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We're also going to check our prog page. Now we see ISAJ is auto-tuned on both sides. So we're going to draw up our preview line. Preview lets you know what the VOR needles are doing. This makes your intercept so easy. And as we're coming in, we're going to start a little uh, turn to about 120, heading for a 30-degree intercept. Jets like 30-degree intercepts. Uh, they handle that turn really well. Um, in the Embraer, you're going to want to intercept on LF, uh, without a doubt. So we're going to arm the nav mode here. It just does not handle a uh, intercept on degree needles very well at all. 
I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here so we can get into the intricacies of the approach uh, on a new video.